guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at two elements from Blade Tech. Now over the past few months, over the past maybe year or so, you've seen Blade Tech featured a number of times on this channel. They're the preferred runner that I like to use and also the preferred runner that anyone that you see featured on this channel is also using. Of course, if you want to find out why, there'll be a video up above and also down below in the description so you can take a look at the technology that Blade Tech runners have, the performance benefits and the health benefits. But today we're going to be looking specifically at custom. What is actually possible? What can they do? If you've got a crazy idea of what you want your runners to look like, how easy is it for them to actually create that? But most importantly, what does that process of being able to order them look like? How long does it take? How deep can you go with the designs? All of that's gonna be covered in this video. And also taking a look at some pretty insane designs that we're gonna be asking Blade Tech to create for the purpose of this video. So since we're looking at custom, let's try and think of something that will work for not only myself, but players of all ages, regardless of where they are in the world. A pretty cool element that I think anyone will get on with is going to be Marvel and DC. I think it'd be interesting to see what Blade Tech can create and how accurately they can capture the colors, the logos on a pair of hockey blades or runners based around Marvel and DC. Now, of course, depending on what fan you are, Marvel or DC, comment down below, let me know which one you think is better. But for me, it's a difficult choice because I like characters from both. I like series and movies from both. So I think this is a really cool element to use for a set of runners or blades for skates. And of course, not to mention, I feel like a lot of the colors that are in Marvel and DC look like some of the colors that hockey manufacturers use on their skates. So let's see what they can come up with. So what we're gonna be looking at now is how the custom process of ordering these runners looks like, what information they need from me, how long it takes, and then what the final product looks like. Let's jump in. Now, looking at the ordering process to get yourself a pair of custom Blade Tech runners, of course we said we're sticking with Marvel and DC. Starting off, the first pair that I'm gonna be showing you of myself ordering is gonna be a pair of Incredible Hulk runners. I wanna put these runners on a pair of CCM Ribcore 90K skates, and the fact that they're green because it's Ribcore from CCM, I feel like Hulk on a set of runners will be a pretty dope style of runners to have. So let's go ahead and get that done. When you get onto the Blade Tech website, you wanna scroll down or click on all of their products to see where it has the custom color option. This is what you're gonna to wanna to select. The first option it's gonna ask you to select is gonna be, of course, what type of holders you have. Just because you have a Bauer skate, it doesn't mean you have a Bauer holder and thus you might not have a Bauer blade. So it just wants to make sure that you get the right runners so they're gonna make sure that they fit on the holders that you have. And then from there, it's gonna be asking us what the size of the blade is. Now, if you're unsure of where to find this, you can actually find it on the heel of the holder just around where the rivets are on the actual holder itself. It will tell you the size. For example, on my particular skates and the holder that I'm using on these skates, it's 271 for the type of runners that I need for this particular order. So that's what I'm gonna select. Now from there, it moves on to colors. This is where we see a little bit of difference from what Blade Tech offer to some other manufacturers that do custom color blades, because they have one color, two colors, or three colors that can be applied to a single runner. Now for this particular design, I'm gonna go with two colors because the Incredible Hulk, of course, is green and he wears purple shorts. So I think it'll be pretty cool if we go with green on the front, purple shorts on the back. And of course, we want to have the Hulk logo right in the middle of the blade. So that's gonna be the very next option after selecting two colors. I need to pick the colors that I want, lime green for the front and then purple for the back and then move on to the next section. Now, after selecting the two colors that I want that are gonna match the Incredible Hulk, it moves on to the etching option. Now, this again, we wanna select yes, because it either gives us the option to add custom text that can be etched or engraved onto the runner, or to add a logo, which is what we wanna to do to make these runners look as sick as they possibly can. Now, I've already got the Hulk logo on my desktop, so I'm gonna be attaching that onto this order form and uploading the image so Blade Tech can see exactly what I want and in what color configuration I want it in. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting because pretty much all runner manufacturers that are out there, they tend to send you the runners just as they are. I've not really seen too many that we've interacted with a lot that send them out sharpened. Now, be sharpening a pair of runners before you deliver them to a customer if they're brand new isn't something that's unique, but of course, it's not something that everyone offers. But in addition to this, Blade Tech also offer profiling. Now, these two, coming hand in hand together isn't something that I've typically come across before. The reason this is a big deal is because of course, if you order a pair of runners, they normally come in some sort of sealed plastic casing. That means you have to crack the runners open, put them onto your skates or have them shipped directly to a hockey store to have them sharpened. Of course, not everyone has the luxury of having a Sparks machine 
shameless plug for Sparks. Not everyone has the luxury of having a Sparks machine at home so they can sharpen their own skates. A lot of us have to go to pro shops or to the rink to get this done. So having a set of runners that you can order that are custom, sick colors, logo set in the middle of the runners, and also then having them profiled and sharpened, ready to hit the ice the second they arrive, is a massive, massive bonus. Of course, profiling is something that a lot of hockey players don't do because I know for a fact that not all pro shops, especially when you leave North America, offer this as a service. If you're unsure of what profiling is, in a very short description, it's essentially increasing the contact between the blade of your skates and the ice surface itself. Changing different contact points of the blade and the ice has a massive effect on the blade's feel and performance. If you want to find out more about how this affects you, I'll have a video link down below that shows you exactly what profiling is, what the options are that are out there specifically looking at pro shop profiling to see if this is something that you might want to try. But if profiling isn't something that you've ever tried before, I would strongly suggest trying it. You can have the same runners, the same skate, and changing the profile completely alters the way the skate performs, behaves, and feels. So if you haven't tried it, make sure that you do. So once you've selected the hollow that you want and also the profile that you want, this is essentially the last step. From here, it's essentially just reviewing, making sure everything on your order form is correct, sending the order off. This is an area that of course I'm not gonna show you because I don't want you to see all of the details of my paying for these runners or where I live, etc. But this is the final step that you need to do. And then from here, it's a case of waiting for your runners to arrive. These are the incredible Hulk runners that we ordered at the start of this video. Of course, you can see the color configuration on these things is absolutely sick. Green front exactly like I wanted, purple back to match the shorts, and of course the Hulk logo smack bang in the middle of the blade. Now aside from these blades having of course the performance benefits that we know about, the health benefits that we know about, if you don't I'll link them down below so you can learn about what Blade Tech Runners offer in addition to the custom elements, but the actual logoing on this is, I've never seen any blades that look like this. We've seen blades that are red, blades that are black, but having a Marvel Incredible Hulk set of runners I think is just unbelievable. The detailing in the logo is pin sharp, and the, the quality and feel of the actual surface is kind of like a matte finish. These look stunning and are gonna look incredible on a set of the uh, 90K rib core skates from CCM. But in addition to this, we also went ahead and grabbed a set of Spider-Man runners as well. You guys know that there's a new Spider-Man movie about to drop. That just seemed to make a lot of sense. And these look incredible. Again, gone for a similar sort of setup where we've got the red in the front and the blue in the back. Logo smack bang in the middle. This logo is a little bit harder to see because of the texture of the runners and the color sequencing, but damn, these things look sick. Gonna be putting these on a pair of FT4 Pro skates from CCM. Of course, those are red, so I feel like that's gonna pop. But something else Playtech did that we weren't really expecting them to do is they've essentially included a bunch of runners, both from DC and also from Marvel. And some of the detailing and color patterns on these runners is unreal. My personal favorite has got to be the Joker blades. Three different colors on them. Remember when we were doing the ordering process, you could either pick one whole color, two colors, or three. Here's a good example of three colors. Purple in the front, white with the logo smack bang in the middle or the silhouette, it looks absolutely ridiculous. And then the green in the back. I have never seen any runners that look like this and it goes on and on. A set of ones that I thought would be really funny is the fact that they've given us a set of runners that look like the Flash. Now, I definitely can't say that these would be runners I'd be using because I'm not that quick on the ice, but again, look at the color. I love the fade, the splash of uh, paint as it goes from red to yellow. The logo looks sick. These are just unreal runners. I don't care if you're a much older player, like a senior player or a younger player, anyone is gonna love these, whether it's a gift or just upgrading a set of steel that they have to runners that have performance benefits and also health benefits and look sick as hell. Blaytech is definitely be, gonna be the one to go for. But in addition to that, we've got Batman runners, these Iron Man, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Wonder Woman. There is a bunch of different runners here and all of the colors, patterns, logos look unreal. Especially when you have three colors on one blade, the way that Blade Tech transitioned from one color to another with like a, almost like a, a paintbrush flick or um, splashing of paint effect as the color goes from white to green, for example, with the Joker blades, it looks absolutely unreal. This is just a very, very quick taste of what Blaytech is capable of doing. This is what you can do from the website. But in addition to this, a little surprise that we got was some HT runners that I kind of joked about with Blaytech about having kind of like a Louis V design on the logo. And what they did was send us my favorite type of blades, which are DLC coated blades, which is that black blade that has that mirror-like finish. 
And instead of just putting the hockey tutorial logo in the middle like they've always done, they put the logo in the middle and then they stripped away the logo and just had the actual penguin that we have and had silhouettes of that dotted all over the blade, just like kind of like the Louis V logos that you see on bags or jackets. And it looks absolutely sick. I wasn't expecting to get that. Those are going straight on the skates that I'm using right now. But this is just to show you what you can do. In terms of the Marvel and DC runners, it's a case of popping onto the website and you can do it just as I've shown you. But if you want to create something that isn't listed on their website, like what they've done with the hockey tutorial Louis V style runners, that's just a simple case of being able to email them, sharing maybe images, sketches, or just detailing the idea that you want. And these guys can run away with it and create something that looks unbelievable. A big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. A massive thank you to Blade Tech for making this video possible and for surprising us with the most unreal looking runners that I've ever seen in my life. Of course, if you want more information about Blade Tech, link down below in the video description. If you want to order a set worldwide, link down below in the video description. Thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching, guys, and take care till next time. Peace.